Hello CMW, my name is Cameron Roberts. You're currently joining me from my hotel room on day two of my press trip to South Korea alongside the Korea Tourism Organization. Now why day two, I hear you ask? Well, it's because yesterday I had a 12 hour flight from Heathrow to Korea on Korea Air, some of the best airline food I've ever had, I will say. And I was immediately whisked off to the famous Gang District to see one of the largest malls I've ever seen in my life. And then immediately along to the Lot World Tower, one of the largest buildings in the world. Whisked my way up that, took some lovely photos and videos, which I hope you're seeing now. And then came straight back to the hotel, the Lot Hotel. Enjoyed a lovely night's sleep, and now we're off down south. Now day four here in South Korea. Sorry I haven't been keeping up with you, but we've been quite busy. Yesterday we were in Guangzhou to visit the Asian Cultural Center. Really unique venue, learned a lot about South Korean history. Then we went to the traditional cultural center to learn how to play a traditional string instrument and do some singing. Yes, I did show off my beautiful singing voice. Now today we're here in Yosu, and I mean, do I really need to say any more? I might be very out of breath because we've just walked up a massive hill in the natural park in Sunshine Bay. Um, but I mean, the view is worth it, I think. Uh, but I'm very sweaty. <laughs> it is day five. Sorry, I didn't catch up with you yesterday. I was very tired off my little hike up that mountain. Um, after that, we took the express train from Sunshine to Seoul. Really tied together a lot of the places we've been from a mice perspective. Um, really shows you can travel the entire length of the country in just a couple of hours really. Means that a lot of the venues and convention centres that we saw become a lot more viable for mice. I got a chance to sit down with Dai Young Kim, one of the marketing managers at the Korea Tourism Organisation, to chat all about Korea and its unique mice offering. So what makes Korea an exciting country for events. Um, so Korea is a small country. If you take a look at Korea on the map, it's a small country. But because of the compact size, it allows event attendees to experience a lot in a short amount of time. So, which is great because oftentimes attendees are limited on time. And transportation is well connected throughout the entire country and it takes only about two to three hours to get from one end of the country to the other. So you're well connected and it won't take you too much time to move from one city to another. And also, um, you will find major convention centers throughout all the regions. And all of the convention centers are well equipped with um, all the facilities and uh, um, the rooms, the space that you need to host various MICE events. And also, I just want to add that Korea is a very fun and dynamic country. Um, the people are very passionate and um, as you can tell from the Korean content that's been taking the world by storm, like Parasite and Squid Game, BTS, Korea is a country that has a lot to offer in terms of culture and content. So I'm back in the office now and I've just been reflecting about my week in Korea really. I think the things that I learned was that in a country like Korea you can blend the cultural side of things, the incentive travel, with very practical modern MICE facilities. I think that's the real key learning for me. Um, it was also great to see the country's natural beauty as well as a lot of the venues that they have. Just want to thank Korea Tourism Organisation. I'll be writing a piece about it in the next CMW so take a look out for that. But otherwise I'll see you all next time.